we're hearing lots of allegations of a dead person voted. Uh, we, we heard a report from, from one county in Michigan where the election software mistakenly counted 6,000 votes that were cast for Donald Trump. It switched them to Joe Biden. Now, they apparently caught that. Uh, but that same software is used in 47 counties throughout Michigan. That needs to be examined to determine that there's not uh, a, a problem counting the votes. And the legal process is how you resolve those questions. You, you know, one of the frustrating things just as, as an American watching this is you hear all these allegations of what's going on. And it's hard to know what the facts are. It's hard to know what the truth is. Well, we have a process for ascertaining the truth, which is that you can go and present evidence and test it in a court of law. And then those appeals will go up both through the state uh, appellate system and the federal appellate system. And, and this case could very easily end up at the U.S. Supreme Court. You know, you mentioned Bush versus Gore, which which I was part of representing then Governor George W. Bush uh, in, in the course of 36 days. Uh, we had multiple cases throughout the state of Florida. It went twice to the Florida Supreme Court. It went twice to the U.S. Supreme Court. It took 36 days to resolve, and we got an answer. I, I would expect a similar process to play out here, despite the media trying to tell everyone, give up, go home, we know who we want to win. That's not how it works. We need to follow the law, and that means allowing the legal process to play out.